I'm Brad with AB Suppressor. Today we're going to take another look at our Raptor series of suppressors. These are all in 762 from a 2 stack, 4, 6, 8, and 10 stack. We've also got a flush mount, a 1 inch reflex mount, a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5 inch reflex mount. To show this on the, uh, the same day, same meter type of situation, we're going to use a Sandman K today. And um, my first choice to go against a Sandman K would be to shoot a four stack. Um, we will also today shoot it against a six stack. And let's use a two inch reflex and a three inch reflex. Now that we've selected our suppressors, let's take a closer look at the weight, the length, and the DB. For DB, we're going to use three different calibers. Subsonic 300 Blackout, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 308. Now let's go to the range and get some data. Now let's take a look at the different weights of the suppressors. When we talk about weight though, we talk about everything that you add to the firearm. So with the Sandman K, we have the suppressor and its mount, and that puts us at 17.8 ounces. Let's compare that first against the 6 stack with a 2 inch reflex. That puts us at 11.45 ounces. And then next we'll do the 4 stack with a 3 inch reflex. And that puts us at 10.65 ounces. When we look at the length of the suppressor, we really only care about how much length are we adding to the front of the firearm. Anything that goes back, well, that's free real estate. So let's take a look at the Sandman K. If we screw it on here. You can see everything is in front of the muzzle. We really like to do the reflex mounts. And what the reflex mount does is allows us to come back over the barrel. And you can see on this firearm, it matches the front of the uh, forearm very well. But, if we did a really long reflex, we didn't shoot this, but this is just for an example. Look at how it slides inside that forearm, and it gives us all this additional volume for the blast chamber. I like to say that this area is free real estate, and this area under the handguard, that's real estate you didn't even know about. So let's go to the uh, measuring board and let's see how these different combinations measure up. So the first thing we'll do is we'll zero the barrel with the muzzle line. 
This is our starting point. Now we'll add the Sandman K to it, and you can see where it measures up. The next thing we'll measure is a Raptor 6 stack with a 2 inch reflex. And you can see that there's 2 inches of it behind the muzzle. Now let's take that off and go to our 4 stack reflex that has a 3 inch reflex on it. And you can see that it got shorter on the front and the back got longer. Now let's take a look at them all together. So the volume behind the muzzle is very beneficial, yet we're not sacrificing any length in the front of the weapon. So that's our testing for today. We really enjoy doing that kind of stuff and we do it quite frequently. And uh, when we do, we always do like to compare it to something. We appreciate the, uh, the Sandman K for helping us out, giving some context to what we were doing and not just, oh, it's a number. It's, it's a number to, that uh, relates back to something. But again, today what we, uh, what we shot was all 762 Raptors. This is the six stack, and we call this the six stack because there's actually six baffles or six spirals that we stack up and weld together. We shot the four stack, 762. We shot two different mounts today. We shot a three inch reflex and a two inch reflex. We appreciate you guys watching this video. We hope to see you on the range or in the field someday.